So you don't have to go far across the North Carolina state line to put together an awesome dream hunt. We're in Chesterfield, South Carolina at Gaddy Farms. I've got two hunters coming in for a dream hunt, and I think both these hunters will be impressed to see what Scott and his volunteers have put together for them. Evan, no, you cannot have that gun. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Jeez, I'm so glad Lauren. you men are here doing this. <laughs> So this hunt actually takes place about the third week of October. And believe it or not, in this part of South Carolina, this is kind of the prime week for their rut. And we sent Robert with Scott to, to shoot the gun. I had a gun for Evan to shoot. And it didn't take long for me to understand who the prankster in this crowd was. He did. Well, he can... We need some more shirts, Yeah. We do. We can, um, I'll let him shoot yours or something like that. You shoot, you shoot muzzle loader, don't you? Yeah. Well, I can switch it over. We'll let him shoot the STW. I'll let him shoot my muzzle. Are you pulling our leg? Yeah, I'm pulling our leg. <laughs> <laughs> you only heard one shot, right? Yeah. Yeah, I said, put it's it up. It's all it took. Put it up, put it up. Go ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. Evan Paul said it. her legs went long enough to reach the floorboard. This beautiful place down here, Scott, has been very tenor slip. Evan and Robert come to hunt this weekend. So we're going we to go try to shoot a deer. So I'm about as shocked as Zach was. We no more than got the gun and the tripod and the camera gear going. We've already got deer coming in. And we thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use the night sight system, help Evan. We know we're not gonna shoot this deer and work with him a little bit on shot placement. And really that's the beauty of the night sight system is to help them grow as a hunter.
So this whole afternoon, we've got deer coming in, running around. You can tell the rut's getting started. You got some small bucks chasing does. And Evan's sitting over there, man, he just, he just wanted to shoot something. So it was right at dark. We had three does in there and we decided, okay, let's let him shoot one of these does. And we would concentrate Saturday on trying to get him a bigger buck. And I'll be dead blame if we didn't have that small buck come back and run all of them back off. And that's just how it goes with hunting. Sometimes you wait too long and the opportunity slips by. But I promise you, we're gonna turn him loose the next morning. So it's just getting daylight, and uh, we've had one little buck show up. Not really what we're looking for. I'd like that little six or seven pointer to show up for Evan today. Uh, we told him if he'd be patient yesterday afternoon, we'd let him shoot some this, this morning. So he's been patient so far. So. If this morning's anything like yesterday afternoon, we'll have a pretty good morning, so hopefully it'll all work out. Uh, Mr. Robert shot a doe last night. He's from Tennessee. And uh, so the hunting's really started off on a good, pretty good note, so just kind of keep our fingers crossed that deer show up. So the next morning, uh, Zach had to take a rain check, wasn't able to go. Uh, we expected a lot of deer to start showing up right at daylight, which we did. We had some does show up and out pops what we believe is that seven pointer. And we're going to hold true to our word and let Evan shoot this deer or attempt to shoot. He just showed up out of nowhere. He's gonna make sure the crosshairs where you need them. And I'm, you're gonna do everything else. Okay, you need some turn broadside, okay? You got the safety off, right? I mean, you got it on right, okay? Just wait till he turns broadside. He's gonna make sure the crosshairs where needs to turn a little bit more. Evan, just remember, just to squeeze your trigger, okay? Right, there you go. All right, have the hydrogen. Take the safety off. Take your safety off. Okay. All right, now put it where you need to put it. Right there. Down just a little bit. Right there. Take it. Yep. You did it. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no track job on that one. <laughs> he's smoking. He's smoking. He's smoking. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Graduation, buddy. I have a little bit of high five here. <laughs> You've been very patient. Yes, he has. That's your biggest butt. That's your biggest butt. You've had a huh? very small little one. Yeah. Well, Mr. Scott said if a big one walks in, you can shoot it too, so we'll just have to see. Yeah. You want to wait and see if we can shoot a day? Maybe. Maybe. So here's the hard part. How do you convince a kid to continue to hunt when he's already got a buck on the ground? We felt like there'd be more deer show up, and sure enough, he was patient enough to wait, and he's going to get an opportunity to fill that second tag. I think either one of those are good. Yeah, that one right there that you're on. Right there. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. You ready? Yeah. Wait a minute. You ready? I'm, I'm good. I think. All right. Hold on. Okay. All right. Good. Take your safety off. All right. Hold on. All right. You put it right. Same place. Same place. Right there. Right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Ooh. <laughs> We're just not going to track nothing. Nothing. And nothing. <laughs> we ain't going to have no track nothing. Wait, wait, I don't. Oh, what? no, she's down. She's down. That's another one. That's another one. Yours failed. I see it right over yeah. there. Evan, no, you cannot have that gun. <laughs> <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. Jim I'm so glad Lauren. you made her here to me. <laughs> oh, God. This is great. Right. That direction. No, we're not shooting no more deer. I ain't skinning no more deer, okay? <laughs> if we got another one spinning down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you can't kill but two a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord that's great that's great <laughs> oh lordy i'm tore up <laughs> there goes, she's piled up like a oh, yeah. ton of bricks down there lord, i'm sitting there watching her and she's like she boom. did just like that and <laughs> i wish i wish every kid i carried a hunt did that <laughs> Oh, I've had some like, are you excited? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you sure don't act like it? <laughs> I think mom's as excited as son. Oh, yeah. Very oh. proud of you. Congratulations. I hate Mr. Zach wasn't here with you, yeah. but oh well. It's okay. So we came in here yesterday afternoon, and we like five minutes after we got here, deer started showing up. And we, we just really wanted Evan to wait a little bit, and... It ended up like we were going to shoot a doe at the last light and had a spike around him out. So, uh, somebody, good morning. Yeah. He's happy. I'm happy. Mom's happy. And the guy's happy. So, uh, what a morning. Yeah. God has surely been good today. Oh, what are you talking about? He's blessed us. And they still do. They still there. They're still there. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> You, you definitely going to have to hug Scott Smith because oh, yeah. he, has put, he has put you in a honey hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's roll. Oh, yeah. Evan, that rifle is about as tall as you are. <laughs> but it shoots good, don't it? Yeah. You might have to, you might have to write you a letter and tell Mr. Jarrett thanks for that rifle. <laughs> yeah. This is great. <laughs> so what do you think about deer hunting now? Think, think we're gonna be able to get you back down here? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I think we'll be able to get you. Hey, I think there. somebody said he was gonna take you hunting in December, somewhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you come hunting at my place. And tell Mr. David that he's got to let you borrow his gun. <laughs> oh man, this is such a oh. bigger than what I thought it was. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Holy moly. Come on over here, buddy. We let that one walk yesterday and decided not to let him walk again today. Get up there and get your picture made, buddy. What do you think, Evan? What do you think about that, buddy? <laughs> is that is that your biggest one? Oh, I think so. You think so? You've only had one other. It was <laughs> What's that? That is a very special good luck charm. Oh, nice. So, I, there, <laughs> so what's the story about the rock? It gave us good lucky, good thing about in the morning you pray and that day, by like afternoon, it happened. So there it is. Nice. That's great. That is great. Who shared it with you? Um, Zach. Zach give you the rock? Yeah. Okay. Is that for his daughter? Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's, let's go get you dough.
Or do you well, just yeah, want to hold? Do you just want to hold on to your butt? I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have a lot of dragging to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's let's pull this one on up here out of the corn pile, and we'll go get you dough. Okay. Okay. All right, come on. There you go. Are you pulling? All right. All right, let's go get the dough now. <laughs> David, that drag was a little short of what I thought. I don't blame you, but I'm not sure I'd have moved a deer at all. I ain't much on dragging when you got a four wheeler 200 yards down the road. Man, I'm too heavy. We got to go get the four wheeler. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the gun. Right here. Well, that goes farther back than what I thought. Good God, that's a big doe too. Yes, it is. Yeah. How long are those? Wow. Jeez. That was a heck of a shot. High five, brother. You were officially Good a deer shot, hunter buddy. today. All right. Now here's where the work starts. Come on. Grab a foot. Are you pulling? Yeah. My goodness, Evan. All right. You want to go with me to get the four-wheeler so we can come pick them up? Yeah. We'll be back in a minute, y'all. So I'm not sure how far I'm going to get on this closing because there's a lot of stuff to say here, but uh, we really didn't talk much about Robert. Robert was a veteran from Tennessee. He shot a doe Friday afternoon, and he shot an outstanding buck Saturday morning, uh, which seemed to be the morning. So Robert, congratulations. Evan, congratulations to you on your buck and doe. Uh, that's uh, his second and third deer of his hunting career. Also big thanks to uh, Scott Broadway and his family, uh, Nick Page, David Rushing, Ann Rushing. Uh, Ann works for 811. She brought a canopy down there just so we'd have something to be under. Uh, everybody jumped in, pitched in, cooked, and never in a million years would I thought this hunt be over in a day and a half. Those boys did an outstanding job, and I'm gonna tell you, I can't wait for this year's hunt. Also, we wanted to thank Shakar Safari Club International. Uh, we did a, a grant with them in 2023, and this hunt was part of that grant. And you know, it's nice to know there's people out there that will help you financially to make dreams come true for hunters just like Robert and Evan, and we appreciate their help. So one last thing, uh, you know, Evan had talked about the special rock that Zach gave him. Uh, I didn't know what all that was about, so I called Zach. And uh, for you that, you know, watching this and don't know, uh, Zach and Carissa lost uh, their daughter, Ava, uh, 18 months ago. Zach and uh, his daughter used to paint a lot on rocks. And uh, Zach keeps one of the rocks that she painted as a good luck charm uh, while he's hunting. And uh, so he gave that rock to Evan the night he left as a good luck charm for Saturday morning. And uh, I just appreciate Zach allowing me to talk about this because it's important. It's important that one, us as adults and hunters to help mentor and be a friend to a kid like Evan. Uh, it was important to me when I was growing up to have that, and I'm sure it's important to Evan. Also in Ava's memory, uh, Zach and Carissa have started a foundation called Ava Ever After. Uh, the mission is to support children who have suffered the loss of a sibling or parent by combining grief counseling with methods of self-expression like art, dance, exercise, and nature. Our ultimate goal is to offer a safe place for kids to play, interact, learn, to grieve, and build lifelong relationships. So if you're watching this and uh, you're going through some type of grieving process, I would invite you to reach out to Zach and his wife. Uh, I could sit here and tell you I, I know how they feel, but I don't. Uh, but anything that you can do to get together when there's families involved and grieve together is always gonna be a big plus in the healing process. On the flip side of that, uh, you know, this was, this was Evan's second or third deer, 
And I, I just wanted to show you, uh, Zach took Evan hunting after we had taken him. He shot a fantastic buck. And literally on social media yesterday, they went and picked that buck up and Evan didn't even know that it was his. So Evan, congratulations on the bigger buck. And uh, if you're watching this and you'd like to go on a hunt, you can check out our website at handsofasportsman.org. Go up to the top on local hunts or dream hunts. All those hunts are open to able-bodied kids, disabled kids, disabled adults, disabled veterans, or able-bodied veterans. Hope you enjoy these hunts. Hope you have an awesome day, and I hope you have an awesome hunting season.